What's going on down there? I want to go out and document that. My temptation is just to walk out there and stand. I don't want to say I can't. I do want to say it would be better that I would take Willie. Now I can put my foot up. Super nice. Yesterday, keeping my foot elevated, well, it could have been the compression socks too, did keep my foot from swelling more. Still swollen a little bit, but it didn't get any worse. I've got no new pains, but my wrist, my right wrist is getting stiff again. Hope it's not on its third cycle. Those are some happy birds. I didn't get over here in time for the move. They got feed. Hey, how's their grit, Sam? What's their, what's their grit look like? It's good. Jonah, is their water filled up? Yes. We're good, look at them getting that clover. They just love this. Hey, do you guys want to do our project before the cows or after? What project? We're just gonna put around in the greenhouse a little bit. Hang some vines. Before. Pull some weeds. Let's check on the jobs and then let's do it. You guys did good. Okay, got grit, feed, new ground, water. Good job, boys. Looks like you guys nailed the luchadors, too. Make sure you actually clean the pans. We were washing pans up the house, and we are like, wait a minute, we could just run a hose down here, wash the pans right here where we need them. I'm gonna declare this a failure. The ground was just too much field dirt, too compact, and the squashes didn't grow. Okay, I like it. They've got their feed. We gotta fatten you guys up. You aren't growing fast enough. We gotta start thinking about getting them out of here. She's due in just a few, could be in just a few weeks. He needs to be separated out. They're starting to develop. Fair warning to everybody. She's gonna give birth. She's gonna give birth on her own. We're not gonna assist. We need her to be able to do it on her own and if she can't, she's not our long-term sow. First time farrowing. It's rough, that's what they tell me. Uh, we probably won't get very many. There'll be a lot die. It's just rough. If they keep at least one, and they're a good mother to it, then you should give her another try. You should keep her for the second, and then you get better success from then on. The cool thing is, they're only pregnant for like almost four months. They give a lot. Why not help? Well, this is our own decision to nurture resiliency, to eventually have breeds on our farm, we'll pass on to our grandchildren that are strong, low maintenance, easy, so that the kids can focus on other things so it doesn't take um, outside input in the long run, just high efficiency productivity for the amount of input. So it's a gift to my grandchildren. So eventually what we're gonna have is a super strong, uh, meat sheep operation, super strong uh, pig operation, and ones that are specific to this land and this management system. All right, here we go, guys. Jonah's got a pail. Sorry, middle of a burp there. Uh, we got 20 minutes till we got a milk. This is the last day for Sam and John. Boo hoo. Uh, you guys, I want you to go through and weed, okay? It's really easy to pull these weeds out of this mulch. Especially for young boys like you. I'm gonna see if we don't need more tomato trellising. Good news, my, well, this is my Lyme doctor, my functional med medical doctor's coming today. So maybe we get to pick her brain a little bit about this reactive arthritis. Uh, she's got some insight on uh, from a, my gut test that was pre this antibiotic for this illness though. And then hopefully our uh, extensive Lyme test is in. This is kind of orange from sitting on here, isn't it? I want to say, well, what do you know about reactive arthritis? Uh, this seems intense. What's the long-term effect of having to take ibuprofen every night? More information, other professional opinion, can't hurt. Oh, it's still pa packed down. Good. Sam, you want to see how fast you can run? Sure. We'll drive beside you with the <laughs> Willie. Tell you how fast. Who's up for it? Just so you want to see how fast you can run? Sure. Oh, you gonna try it too, John? I got flip flops. Should I yes. take off my shoes? I don't know. It's up to you. We're gonna be running on this road. All right, Lorraine, you hold the cam camera as steady as you can as we drive. Okay, you guys ready? Okay, go ahead. 10, 11, 12. Okay, keep filming. 11, 12, 13. Going. Look at Sam. <laughs> You're going 12 miles an hour. Sam! 
Damn, man. I couldn't run with my flip flops. 12 miles an hour barefoot on the road. Well, it wouldn't be homesteading without problems. Plus the net is down mega, and uh, thankfully nobody got out. Thank, thankfully y'all aren't devil eyes. And your sheep, and you stayed in. The mineral shawl has come off at this end and just fell down. We're not gonna be able to move it because it's it's part of the bracing system for this thing. We happen to be in one of the trickiest moves too. You kinda have to pull it forward and then grab from this end and then and then pull it up. We are in one of the mo one of the prettiest paddocks, I think. That big rock down there, the forest in the background, the trees in the in the paddock. Don't trip, stud. Ooh, I like it. He stopped right there. That's a good sign. That's good stuff. Little mini stud. I don't know what happened here. Somebody probably jumped on it. They pushed Phyllis on it. A, a calf jumped on it. Maybe a sheep jumped up there. Ultimately, it needs to be bolted. But we're, we're going to redesign this thing based on some of the Salatin's recommendations. So that's actually going to end up being on the side. We're also going to put this here. This head gate on the side, and then we're gonna put this brace that's at the bottom across here, just enough so the cows can walk under it. It'll be braced like this, and they'll have more lounging area. And we're gonna make sure this is a 12 by 16 roof. This could have something to do with it. We can put some cream there. I don't know if stud. Yeah, you could put some. Well, yeah, you could put some of that other cream on that. I think Stud Muffin might have rammed her over that and she Possible. cut herself on the screws. One thing Salatin told us to do while he was here was chop down this weed tree with machetes. I think the boys will have fun doing that. It's one of the few things sheep or cow will not eat. Most, most people hate multiflora rows in their pasture, but guess what? Sheep will eat this. I mean, you might not believe me based on this multiflora rose patch, but you will by that one over there. I don't want to walk over there, but they've destroyed it. They'll eat the leaves off of it, and of course it kills it. Oh, you guys have got to also realize the lambs are kind of come through here too. So it's their turn next. See how they stripped this multiflora rose? A cow won't eat that, and they're a centerpiece, but a sheep will and kill it, and therefore making more room for more edibles for our cows. Sit down for a minute, keep my foot up. Seemed to work yesterday. I think the hardest thing more than the pain is I feel super restricted like I know the strength is in me to like grab this mineral shawl fix this start screwing in the screws milk cow it's in me but it's just not there and I just feel so restrained and I think that's just oh it's psychological psych, psycho nuts you're done, honey. We're gonna fix your stanchion here. See how the frame's crooked? Yeah. You could go ahead and straighten it up now or when somebody holds that up. We have these screws sticking through, but apparently you don't have a star bit. We're gonna have to go home and get a star bit and a two by four so that we can push these out because you won't be able to unscrew them probably without some force. Aaron's getting the bits out. It doesn't look like we're gonna have to shove them. They are coming out. That's good. Push on that forward and screw it. There you go. That's doing it right. No. So crooked. I have to hammer it straight. Getting it? Yep. Oh, you got it. Okay, good. Yeah. Grab that corner and push it towards Willie. See how it's not at a 90 degree angle there? Can everybody push? One, two, three. That's a little better. Keep going. Okay, maybe you get at that corner and you pull. The room's lifting it. Did that straighten it out all good? There you go, there you go. That was it. Get one child on each side of this mineral. And so Arun and Jonah will do the screwing. Yeah, there you go. John's got one side, just side, grab the other side. Arun, you, you spot Jonah. John, put one put one on a runes in and then yeah. they can rest easy. Yeah, we did it guys. Okay, this went a lot better. Now. Let's pull this forward and then hook up to the back. And then pull it up this hill. A rune just reminded me there's nothing 
on the back. So when you pull to. this way, we can just try to push it all together. Is there a stump right there? Yeah. I think we can lift it up. There's a stump right there also. We can lift it up when it's stump come, we can lift it up on the other side. I'm back. He's a camera hog. He's staying at the camera. And look at his little socks. Whose socks? Emily giving these socks? No. His little elf socks with bells. Well, no, so he plays Oh, he can with play them. with them. Yeah, that's he's good. been playing that's with them. That's why this one's wet. Yeah. Okay, good. You resting with those socks, buddy. How you holding up this morning, Mom? <laughs> good. Glad Listen. you're good. It's tough when we both go down. That's a true friend, man. She's putting away the dishes. Emily, thank you. Taking a break from office work there. Getting a little sunshine. I want you to notice something. That crazy rainstorm last night destroyed half of mom's sunflowers. It's crazy. Actually, I don't think she's too upset. One, because we're having to let some things fall through the cracks, but the sunflowers were also kind of almost done anyway. <laughs> We're sitting down to supper. Indian Wednesday. Thank you, Cooking with Arun Kumar. Just had a visit with our doctor mm -hmm. who was treating us for, for Lyme. This yes. was the first time she was able to see us while we had this reactive arthritis. Yes. She confirmed it as reactive arthritis. Yeah. Which was good and bad. I mean. Yeah. Good in the sense that we know what it is we have and an there's an diagnosis. end in sight. Bad is that, yeah, it's reactive arthritis. We did. And it takes a while. <laughs> and probably longer than we thought. She imagines three to five months. So we were thinking 12 weeks. So now it could be up to 12 to 20 weeks. But still, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. There's a slight chance that it could carry on. And chronic. Chronic. But if she doesn't but think I that will happen. Think it would oops, be. Oops, it's going. It wouldn't be at this extent. <laughs> Stay with us, guys. No, she felt like it would not be chronic. I know it's the end I mean, of the day. You're, obviously, you're, you're, she, we're all getting tired. Once. She can't predict the future, but yeah, she didn't think that it would be chronic. We also got our Lyme results back. Yeah. Um, well, for the reactive arthritis, we came up with a treatment plan with her. <laughs> Come on, I need to get you guys new legs. Yeah, I know. Her legs are coming out. I think mean, it's good. Do you want me to hold it? If I could with my wrist, do this. We came oh. up with a treatment plan for mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And so we're like, we know what we're doing. Your stool test came back from before the Campylobacter mm -hmm. infection. And um, we got a treatment plan for that. There were some concerns there, there and that might have been why. There was some dysbiosis. I was subject to this in the first place and others weren't. Correct. And the other thing was Lyme. We got those results back oh. as well and came up with another treatment plan for that. So we're not we're not doing all the treatment plans at once. We're staging them and going with the most acute, which is your reactive arthritis. By far. If you get me back to my Lyme state that I was mm -hmm. in before this, <laughs> I'm gonna feel like He-Man. <laughs> Speaking of doctor, she listens very well. Mm -hmm. She's a functional medicine doctor, so it's can, can go conventional and natural, but we have a doctor that's very sensitive and watching over us. And as much as we appreciate Y'all's love, care, and concern, and even suggestions, mm -hmm. we'll be honest, they, can, they actually can become overwhelming sometimes because yeah. there are all these different things and, they, and, and it can be like, oh, is it that? And it creates this uncertainty and unrest. And for us, just unsettles the peace. Thank you so much for caring so much. Yeah. We are under the care of a doctor who so actually don't need any more diagnosis. <laughs> or or suggestions. Or suggestions. And we've yeah. taken some that we yeah, have been given. We have tried. And we've presented them to her. Mm -hmm. But we I really don't feel like we we should be just keep presenting these things. Yeah, no, I think that we we've, really we've have come to just up settle with a plan. plan. We've come up with a plan <laughs> and, just go and we feel for okay it. with it. Can you say bye? <laughs> That'll work. Woo! <laughs> if that isn't a happy ending, I don't know what is. <laughs>